Hello and welcome back to our DCOM tutorial series. We are going to continue uh, talking about adding new moves to the game. We are specifically today going to address how to add a new move effect. Um, now with move effects there are two main ways of uh, accomplishing, you know, changing the game state in some way beyond what the vanilla move effects allow you to do. Um, there are battle scripts that are going to be tied to your move effect, and then you can also just in the code in any of the other battle logic um, reference the move effect um, to change something, which is what we're going to be doing uh, in this video. In the next one, we're going to be talking about battle scripts a little bit more in depth. In this one, we are going to reference the move effect directly in the C code uh, because it's a little simpler uh, to understand for our topic in creating a move effect to begin with. Um, so we're going to jump right in. I used Brian as an example, just another water move. Um, so we have added uh, the move effect data. If you haven't, if you don't understand what this is, the move effects, the name, description, whatever, we did that in the last video. I'm not going to cover it again. Um, the main difference here is that we have the effect brine. Um, now we have to actually add a constant for this. That's the first thing we're going to do. Um, so we go to include constants battle move effects.h and then we are going to define a new constant. Um, oh and we actually need to increase this. That's probably going to be a problem because uh, I didn't do that. Um, number battle move effects 215. Okay so we have um, added our constant. The next thing that we are going to do after we add our constant is we are going to go into the battle scripts. Um, so what this constant does is it calls a battle script um, when the move is being used. Normally when we're doing um, when you give it like effect hit like we did in the last video it's calling this battle script effect hit which we can uh, there's going to be a lot of them actually. Come on, come on. I should have just used a colon. So um, this is going to go through a bunch of stages of battle scripts. Um, it's going to check if the attack should be cancelled. It's going to do an accuracy check. It's going to print the string it's of the attack saying you do it. It's going to reduce your PP. It's going to calc if it's a crit, damage calc, type calc, blah 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 blah. Um, and we are going to cover this a little bit more in depth in the next video. Um, but and adding new battle um, commands. Uh, but in this video, we are simply going to scroll down to the bottom of this list and we are going to add a new move effect battle script um, into the table. Um, now, uh, you have to have it aligned, like in the previous video, um, the, um, with the animation. The uh, script has to be aligned. Um, you cannot... Uh, put brine up here if the constant is in order here. Um, minor thing, but it you, it has to be that way. Um, so I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to actually create my battle script. Now in this case, like I said, we are going to be doing the effect of this uh, move effect in the C code and not in the battle script. This move, uh, its normal uh, script is just going to be the effect hit. We're just going to go to battle script effect hit and it's just going to hit the player just like any normal uh, attacking move would, but we are going to change something elsewhere um, that's going to be called in this effect hit function, one of the um, in the count damage uh, function, one of them, uh, this, this uh, uh, code that we're going to create is going to be called. So in calculate base damage, um, we, which is called um, from multiple other different functions here. Where is it? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here, CMD damage calc. So in command damage calc, which we just saw uh, when we were going through the battle scripts, is is called when um, you do a normal effect hit uh, script command. The that script command is linked to this function here, and we are calculating the base damage here. So because what Brian does is it just like increases the damage on a certain condition. If your HP is low, that's the move effect of Brian, the special thing. Um, what we are trying to do is we're just trying to modify modulate the damage somewhere in the game. We can modulate it here, we can modulate it after this, um, but uh, due to the way that, uh, you know, it's supposed to work, I think
think it should be modulated inside of this function, which is what I uh, did when I copied the implementation from the expansion. The expansion's implementation is very different, which if you're using it, you should look into, um, because the expansion uses different functions. Um, they have pulled a lot of things out of scripts and into more functions and uh, done a lot of different, uh, just a lot of changes in general. Um, so this is very different than how the expansion implements Brian, but this works in the same way. Maybe it does the um, power uh, duplication earlier or later than like some specific items than what should be the case, but it's Gen 4 and Gen 3. There's no should be the case. It's, it's not supposed to be here. Um, so anyway, this is just a simple switch. It's just taking the um, the battle move struct that we just uh, looked at, uh, that we just changed. This is the struct here that we're looking at right here in this function, uh, and we're indexing it by the move, which is just uh, going to be given to us by this function. It was passed to us, um, and this is just our define. So what this is doing is it's just pulling out the effect that we had here, right here. It's just pulling out effect, and that's what this is right here. So we're just checking against this. We're like, is this move does this move have the effect brine if this move has the effect brine then we're going to apply the brine calculation which the brine calculation this is g battle mons this is a uh, battle struct that holds um, the current mons that are in use in the battle there are four of them potentially because of the double battle setup we are indexing it by g battle or target um, there's the g battle or attacker and g battler target and these are variables that hold which mon is using the move and which mon is being targeted by the move um, and it gets a little bit more complicated when we're doing multi hits and when we're doing moves that affect multiple different people because it's got to go through each individual um, mon when it's doing that with the target um, so you have to be careful when you're messing with things like that. But basically what we're doing is we are just indexing this G-Battle construct, pulling out the target of our move. And then we are checking its HP value. Um, if we want to go to the Battle construct, we can look at the Battle Pokemon. This is, a, this is the data that is stored about our Pokemon when we are battling with them. Um, and you can access any of these things uh, in the same way that we uh, just showed um, from Pokemon.c, um, which is where this function is in. I forgot to say that. Um, so we are checking if the HP is less than the same Pokemon's H max HP divided by two. Basically what it means is, is this Pokemon, or do, do, do they have half health or lower? If yes, then we are going to multiply uh, the move by the by a multiplication of the move. Um, so previously we set the move power up here to be the base power of the move. This is indexing the move struct, pulling out the power just like we pulled out the effect here, and setting it to G battle or move power. We're going to immediately double that if uh, I instead, if uh, the max HP, uh, if our HP is less than half of our max HP. So it's a very simple move effect. Now things like this can get very, very complicated. Um, you can, we can go to some of the expansion uh, moves. This is the one with the expansion, yeah. So we can go um, briefly look at some more complicated, uh, some more complicated moves here. We'll look at Tailwind briefly so that we can see uh, what a more complicated move effect looks like. Um, so here we have effect tailwind. We are going to scroll down. Now this automatically is no go is not a go-to. We have our own special stuff here. Attack canceler, attack string, PP reduce, set tailwind. This is clearly a new uh, created uh, um, command um, that they have added into the battle script commands, um, or maybe it's just a macro for a various command but it doesn't matter attack animation weight animation print string a new string that they've added weight message um we'll we'll talk a little bit more about this uh, system but and and then it moves on down here so it either calls this abilities loop where it goes through to check if these abilities are active or it uh, goes down uh, all the way to or or just ends um but yeah, so um, more complicated move effects have a lot more complicated um, code that goes with them, um, as well as um, AI code of, for the expansion specifically, the majority of the AI scoring is moved out into C. But in the uh, vanilla uh, 
game, a lot of it is still in these battle scripts. So I'm not going to cover uh, the AI battle scripts much at all because I haven't really messed with it. Um, I've inserted moves, but I haven't really uh, affected the enemy logic. Um, but you can see here that uh, in these battle scripts, battle, battle AI scripts.s, these are um, these are scoring tables that are the, the, these are these are adding scores uh, depending on um, whether or not these move effects are uh, are matched. So you can add your move effect to these lists. AI HP aware discourage effects when HP low. If you don't want your Pokemon to use one of these moves. When you, this is the exact opposite. You do not want Brian to be in this list because you want them to use Brian uh, when they're low, the enemy. Um, so you would want to find the um, the opposite of that uh, when target medium. Uh, when oh, if that was target, then it didn't matter. But so this one right here, you want to add? We can we can add Brian to it right now. So this would be a good idea. Uh, we don't want our our the the opponent to use Brine when it has very high HP because it doesn't get as much of a reward from it. Um, so this would be a place where we would want to um, affect the AI calculation. Um, but again, I'm not going to talk about this much right now. We have uh, covered adding Brine into the game. Brine is added into the game. Uh, we can quickly open the game and go. I'm not going to show the fact that it doubles because that would make, I would have to set up a script and higher level Pokemon and stuff. Um, but Brian works. Uh, as you see right there, we just had a basic animation for it, copying Whirlpool, nothing particular. But all you have to do is add a new move effect for your move. You have to create a battle script for your move. Now that's a very complicated hand wavy statement, create a battle script. Um, but you have to create a battle script. Use, we will again talk about about some of these uh, commands more in detail um, in the next video, but use the expansion as a guide. Use vanilla as a guide when you're where you can. Um, or if you're not, uh, well, you still have to create a battle script. Um, but if you are not putting your effect in the battle script, you have to find a place to put it in the code. Now there's tons of um, battle logic in a bunch of different functions in battle util.c. Um, there is there, there's tons uh, in battle script commands this is where a lot of the logic is if you have uh you know if you're if you wanted to affect the accuracy there's an accuracy check battle script command that is called when you um when you choose when when you either use accuracy calc in your battle script or when you use a battle script like the normal effect hit that calls accuracy calc um if you affect if you change the command accuracy calc function that's in this file and you change the accuracy calc depending on your move depending on your move effect maybe depending on uh, whatever um you know it'll change what the outcome is. Um, that's how you create new move effects, um, is by changing these functions, uh, by changing these script commands, by changing some of the other functions that calculate things about um, how the battle system is working, other battle logic, or by creating new script commands uh, just by creating new battle scripts directly and having everything handled inside of them if you can use vanilla battle scripts or creating new new battle scripts entirely but script commands entirely i'm rambling at this point um so i'm going to cap the video here uh for now um that is adding basic move effects into the game slightly more complicated moves um, if you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave them below, or if they're complicated, go into the Discord so that it's easier to help you. Um, other than that, we will see you on the next one.